Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here today to talk to you about why do I pee when I jump rope and four tips to stop peeing when you jump. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, thumbs up so that I know and leave me some questions down below in the comments and I promise I will answer. All right, go grab your mats and your jump ropes and let's do this. Let's jump right into it because I get asked this question all the time. And most women who come to me think it's normal because their friends have the same problem. They're getting older and it's just what they've heard is part of aging. And maybe they've had a baby, maybe they haven't. It's just what they're told and what they expect. But I'm here to tell you that it's not normal and we're gonna go over that today so that you can start jump roping without having to worry. All right, those four tips, let's get to it. Number one is breathing. Yes, we're breathing, and yes, it's really important, but it's how you're breathing that is most important. We wanna make sure we keep the breath out of our belly, keep the breath out of our chest. When we breathe in, what happens is our diaphragm comes down. When we exhale, the diaphragm comes back up. It's this amazing pressure system that works with our pelvic floor muscles, lower abdominals, deep back stabilizers, glutes, and our diaphragm. And if we're not breathing or if we're holding our breath, it throws this whole system off. So let me show you. We've got our pelvic floor muscles on the bottom, diaphragm on the top, abdominals in the front. Say you're holding your breath when you're jump roping. What happens when you hold your breath is watch how it just squirts out there. Oh, those poor pelvic floor muscles, all that pressure down there. We don't want that. So that is why it's super important when we inhale, Diaphragm goes down, exhale lifting. Couple things with your exhale that are really important. Exhale when you're about to move. That will help you get this pressure system working. And when you're exhaling, try to blow through a straw, this type motion, or sometimes a in sound. That will help you feel the lower abdominals because what happens when we exhale, our diaphragm comes back up the diaphragm, that fascia, the tissue around that diaphragm pulls on our lower abdominal and pelvic floor muscles to help this system working. That exhale will help you feel the lower abdominals so we're not gripping and bracing up here and causing all of that pressure down on our pelvic floor. Okay, breathing, super important. Number two, posture. This one might even be more important than number one and they definitely work together. So when you're jump roping, what I typically see, and I'm gonna show you in this video here, is that we get the hips tucked underneath and the shoulders go way back. Our ribs are flared. So that whole pressure system that we were just talking about, you can't use that efficiently. Your diaphragm's not gonna go down. Your glutes are tucked underneath. You can't use those. And your pelvis is tucked underneath. So when you're jump roping, you're using these back muscles, your ribs are flared, and you cannot use this pressure system. Okay, how do we fix that? Great question. We're gonna make sure we get our rib cage over our pelvis. That is the key, so shift that weight forward. You wanna find your sweet spot in your feet. Maybe you practice rocking forward, rock backwards onto those heels, and you're gonna go somewhere in between. You wanna make sure it's not hinging at the hips because then you're gonna feel it in your back. It's hinging from those ankles, rib cage soft, so we're not flaring our ribs up, softening with this rib cage. And the other cue is this looking down at like a 45 degree angle instead of being up here because then my rib cage is gonna follow that. So we've got the hips are back, rib cage over that pelvis. My gaze is looking down and like this other video, that's how you can get your whole system working, that pressure system with your jump roping. So we've got posture, our breathing, and now we're gonna go over two exercises to help you incorporate these two things. The first one is going to be a plank. And we exhale on the exertion. We exhale when we're about to start moving. When you're exhaling through that closed straw, you wanna make sure you're feeling it in these lower abdominal muscles. When we're exhaling, the pelvic floor has this gentle lift and close. It's not a bearing down like a Kegel and you're trying to do an exercise really hard because a lot of what I see is those, the pelvic floor muscles are too tight, so we don't want to tighten them. That's why the breathing is so important. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, pull ourselves, come forward. Inhale, go back in this plank, all right? So here we go. 
You're coming into your plank position. Make sure your booty is not tucked underneath. You're pressing into your palms. Your gaze is looking up. We're gonna take that gentle breath in. Exhale, pull yourself forward, push up on those toes. Inhale back. Exhale, push forward. Inhale back. And you're feeling that connection with the pelvic floor muscles, with your lower abdominals. And just training that system that just needs a little bit of help to remember how it wants to work. You don't have to do many of them, maybe eight or 10, just to kind of set that system, but make sure you're feeling it in those right muscles. All right, so you got that plank down. Maybe we add on to do a little bit more explosive movement. Why did I pick a plank? Because it's similar to a standing position and we're gonna work our way up to standing. So we're in our plank. We're gonna come in and out with a jumping plank, okay? So we're gonna take a nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, bring it in. So following your breath, Good. Making sure you feel it. Whoops. Awesome work. Making sure you're feeling it in those lower abdominal muscles. Alrighty, we're going up. So to start mimicking and having more explosive movement, those jumping jacks, we wanna make sure we have that posture, rib cage over your pelvis making sure our gaze is slightly down, and my hands are gonna be doing what my pelvic floor is. So when I bring my hands in, it's a gentle close and lift. Inhale, I'm opening pelvic floor muscles, okay? Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale. And start off slow, just so you can start to feel those muscles firing up. And it's just retraining them how you want them to work. That's why it doesn't take very many. Good. Then once you start to get it down, pick it up a little bit. Posture and breathing. All right, great work with those jumping jacks. Remembering posture, rib cage over pelvis. Breathing, inhale, diaphragm's going down. Exhale, gentle lift and close with that pelvic floor. Exhale on the exertion. Exhale before you're about to start going to just set that system. It's all about coordinating your posture and your breath. Those are the most important thing with any movements that you're doing. And you sprinkle them into your day so that you can get back to jump roping without having to worry. <clears throat> Awesome job with those four tips today. Remember, consistency is key, so stick with it. If you're still not quite sure or struggling, if you can feel the pelvic floor muscles and your breath, you're gonna wanna check out the video I have lined up for you next. It goes and breaks it up more step-by-step -step pattern, so check that out. You're gonna also wanna check out and join my free five-minute strong core and pelvic floor challenge where you will notice just five minutes a day a difference in this whole core system. All right, remember to leave me some comments down below Hello. Questions, I will answer them. Until next time, I will catch you later and happy jump roping. Namaste.